Hey guys, it's Kelly. Today I've got a feel good flow for you. So if you're ready to practice, roll out your mat. Let's get started. Come to lie down on your back. Find your Shavasana position. Allow the shoulders to melt down into the mat. And begin to tune inwards towards your breath, to the rise and fall of your belly. And with each inhale through the nose, see if you can lengthen it, let it get a little longer. And allow the exhale to match the length of your inhale. Perhaps you put a count to it. Letting each inhale take one more second. Each exhale one more second longer. One more inhale. One more exhale. Okay, let's take a good morning stretch. Reach the arms overhead. Reach the toes long. And then hug everything in towards the chest. Nice little ball. Good, straighten the right leg towards the mat as you hug the left knee towards the chest. You're gonna loosen the grip, take a twist over to the right, guide the right knee towards the right. Inhale back to center, let's switch it out. Hug the right knee in this time towards the chest. Straighten and lower the left leg. Starting with some yummy twists this morning. Let's take a twist over to the left. We'll do a little bit of twisting in our practice today. This twist always helped me feel good. Good, inhale up. Grab onto the shins, rock around side to side. Good, and then we'll rock all the way up to a seat. However many rocks you wanna take this morning, up to you. Find your comfortable seat. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, take a twist over to the right. Gaze follows the right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, twist a little deeper if it feels good. Good, keep the left hand where it is. Cross the right arm over and find the left knee. Round the spine, chin to the chest. So like a cat pose here but we're in our seat. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, twist over to the left. Breathe. And then sweep the left arm up and over, grab a hold of the right knee, flex the spine once again, chin to chest. Good. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Surrender here. Notice how the hips are feeling. Good, walk it up. Let's switch out the cross of the legs. Whichever one was on the bottom, go ahead and put it on top. And inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Ooh, this is my tighter side. <laughs> Maybe you can relate. Breathe. Good rock. Walk the hands up. Plant the hands behind the hips. All the way, so fingertips point towards the hips. 
lengthen through the spine, chest lifts, and then lift the hips up, send the gaze high, stretch the shoulders, lift the hips, you can do it. Exhale, release, nice. Let's extend the legs out in front of us. And usually I like to do this at the end of practice, but it's always nice to observe where we are at the beginning. So let's inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. And this isn't going to be your deepest fold, more than likely. It's probably the first fold of the day. Try to keep length in the spine here rather than rounding forward. And then rock it up. Let's sweep the legs behind us. Find your tabletop pose. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Tops of the feet press down. Really bring the belly button in towards the spine. Inhale, belly low, heart lifts for your, cat, your cow pose. Exhale, round the spine. Gaze back towards the thighs for your cat. Really press the mat away. Inhale, belly low, heart lifts. Exhale, round the spine. Go ahead and take this movement at your own pace. You can bend the elbows. You can pause and take a full round of breaths at any point that would feel good. And on your next exhale, press into your cat pose. Shift the hips back into a child's pose, but it's an active child's pose. So we're still really spreading the shoulder blades away from each other like in our cat. Stretching the underarms, or kind of like the, um, I can't think of the name of this right now, but the back of your shoulder bone there. Really get into that muscle. Inhale, come forward, lower the hips. It's okay if you have to rise the hands just a little bit forward. So cobra, shift the hips back. Active child's pose. Inhale forward to your cobra. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Shoulders away from the ears though. Exhale back, child's pose one more time. Inhale forward. And I always have to kind of slide my hands forward a little bit, but we're all built a little differently, so do what works for you. Exhale back, child's pose, and we'll stay in our child's pose, but allow the arms to relax down. Walk the hands over to the right. Left hand can stack on the right, gentle side bend. Walk through, pass through center, walk to the left. Lower the forehead down. Good, come back to center. Up to your tabletop. Tuck the toes under, hips back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here. Waking up the back body. Good. I like to come on my tippy toes and drop the heels to the right. You can bend the right leg, straighten the left. Come up onto the tippy toes again and drop it the heels over to the left this time. Straighten the right, bend the left knee. And then come back to center, lower the heels back down. Breathe, press the mat away. Inhale, forward high plank. Adjust your spacing if you need to. Belly button comes towards the spine. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Good. Let's inhale, reach the left leg high. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Find your lunge. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Breathe, and then rise up, or crescent lunge here. Put a slight bend in the back knee since we're early. Good. And we'll do some dips here. So cactus the arms, dip the left knee down. Inhale, rise and straighten. So the knee's not going all the way to the mat, but it's hovering off the mat. Bend, 
straighten the back knee. Exhale to bend. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend, and this time we'll come all the way down. Yes, untuck the back toes. Scooch the right foot forward if you need to. High lunge, low lunge. Wow, guys, words are hard today. <laughs> you just gotta laugh it off. Okay, arms reach high. Exhale, plant the left hand. Take a twist over to the right. Nice, get light in the left hand. Ground down more through the right foot. Lift the, right, the left fingertips. Find your twist. And then exalt your lunge here. Right hand comes down. And we're doing a few different twisty things today. Good, let's unwind. Cartwheel the hands out of that. Tuck the back toes. Step it back, downward facing dog. Our first vinyasa of the day. Let's inhale forward to high plank. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, up or facing dog. Press the mat away. You're on the hands, tops of the feet. And then lift the hips, flip over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale. Step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, hover the hands. Find your footing, find your balance, and then rise up, crescent lunge. Little bend in the right knee. Whoop, find your balance. Here we go, and we'll do our knee dips here. Cactus the arms, lower the knee. Inhale, rise. Cactus the arms, lower the knee. Inhale, rise, last one, lower, and come all the way down, untuck the toes, find your low lunge, arms rise, take a twist over to the left, plant the right hand down, open up, and then we'll come up forward to our our reverse here, so left arm comes low, right arm comes high. Breathe. And then cartwheel the hands, tuck the back toes, step it back, downward facing dog, another opportunity to flow. You can always stay in your downward facing dog if you'd like. Inhale, forward high plank. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga, elbows are at 90 degrees. Inhale, upward facing dog, press the mat away. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Nice, walk the feet in about two inches so your feet are more flat on the floor. See if you can take the left hand to the outside of the right thigh or calf and then take a twist over to the right. Take a peek under your right arm. Breathe, left hip draws back. Good, switch it out. Left hand plants, find balance, get light in the right hand. Go ahead and find the right hand on the left leg, take a twist to the left. Good, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Awesome, tiptoe the feet up towards the hands, exhale, lower down, inhale, we rise all the way up, exhale, hands come to heart center. Bring the feet nice and close together, good. Find your stork pose, ground down through the left foot, rise the right foot, stork, flex through the right toes, find your balance, engage through the left quad. And then we'll open up, take a twist over to the right. Left hand can find the outside of the right thigh. Breathe. Focus your gaze on something. And if you lose your balance, just, it's okay. Just come right back into it. Balance looks different every day. Let's slowly and mindfully come back up to your stork. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Hands come to heart center, sit back and down. 
working our outer hip stretch here. Feels, should feel good. But we're also challenging our balance. A very deceivingly tricky pose, but one of my favorites. And then see if you could take a twist over to the left. Yeah, maybe one day the right elbow can find the sole of the right foot and twist even more. Use the hands at heart center to help guide your twist. And when you're ready to come out, unwind. Step out of the pose, chair pose, and straighten the legs, arms reach high. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Shake it out, whatever happened on that side. Forget about it, because we've got another side to do. Good, arms reach high, ground down through the right foot, stork pose on the left. You know where we're going, so take your time. It's a journey. We don't have to get there right away. Take a twist over to the left. You can grab onto the outside of the left thigh. Breathe. See if the gaze can travel towards the left back hand. If not, just focus it somewhere. Remember to breathe. Slowly, mindfully come back to your stork pose. Bring the hands to heart center. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Sit back and down for your figure four. Whoops. <laughs> I lost it for a second. Okay. Breathe. Stay here, work the balance, or start to twist over to the right. Wherever you are is just perfect. And if you want a little extra twist or challenge, left elbow comes towards the sole of the left foot. Allow the hands at heart center to press and guide you to the right. Whoop. Come out when you're ready. <laughs> Good, inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, exhale, fold. Let's separate the feet, mat distance, malasana. Nice. Allow ourselves a little break. Not that malasana is a break. <laughs> Because we can be very active here. Press the knees open and then squeeze, hug the thighs in towards the elbows as you press the elbows out. Let's reach the right arm in front, straighten the right arm, rise the left arm. And if you'd like, we can take a half bind, wrap the left arm around the lower back or the full bind. You can internally rotate the right arm and reach behind. See if you can find your fingertips. If you have the bind, really open up through the left shoulder. Unwind, back to your twist. Hands at heart center. Other side, left arm reaches out, right arm reaches up. Find your twist, stay here. Or find your half bind, right arm reaches around the lower back. And then left arm, in front of the shin and maybe you find the bind here or maybe you just reach towards your hands good and then unwind come out of it awesome hands plant forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale step back plank pose Lower down onto our forearms. And then send the hips high. Walk the feet in for your dolphin pose. Breathe. Press the elbows into the mat. Head is not on the mat. We're pressing the elbows into the mat. Chest is back. Gaze towards the toes. And then lower the knees down, child's pose. Good. 
Reconnect with your breath. Be present with where you are right now. Inhale up a little bit, thread the left arm through. Maybe the left temple comes towards the mat. This a little shoulder stretch here. And then come back to your child's pose. Make space under the left arm. Thread the right arm underneath. Right temple comes down. You can also separate the knees a little wider if that would feel good here. And then unwind. Find your way up onto your knees and let's rock off to one hip. Find your staff pose. Bring the feet towards the edge of the mat. And bring the right foot in. Sole of the foot towards the inner thigh. Let the right knee come open. Let's inhale, arms come high. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Always moving deeper on the exhale. Inhale, rise, keep the legs where they are and rotate the body towards the right. So we're taking another twist here. Bring the left elbow towards the inner thigh. Reach the right arm open. So we're in a twist already. And then we're gonna tilt forward. Good. Keep reaching towards the toes. Maybe one day you find the toes. I'm not quite there today. Each day is different, right? Some days I am. Good. Plant the right hand behind the hip. Right sole of the foot comes, or left sole of the foot comes down. Reach the hips high. Reach the left arm long. Stretch out the abdominals. And then lower the hips. Let's switch out the feet. Left sole of the foot comes in this time. Inhale, right or arms lift. Hinge at the hips, forward fold. And breathe. Keep the right quad engaged. The foot flexed. Good. Come on up. We'll take a twist over to the left to start. Start to hinge forward as you're twisting. See if you can bring the right elbow towards the right thigh. And then lift the left arm up and over for your tilt. Breathe into the side body. Good, and then sweep the left hand back down, plant it by the left hip. So the right foot comes down, lift the hips. Lift the arm, reach towards the back of the mat. And then lower the hips back down. Beautiful, that's always a fun one to do. It always feels good and we're all about feeling good today. Inhale, arms come high. Exhale, reach long past the toes. Don't even look at them. And then find your fold. Observe where you are in this fold after moving the body some, since we did this in the beginning when we were cold. Just observe without judgment. Let's inhale, walk it forward. We'll just lower all the way back down to the mat, hug the knees into the chest. Then we'll separate the knees out wide, find your happy baby pose. Keep pulling the feet down as you press the feet into the hands. Good. And then find your way to your comfortable resting place. And we'll just take a brief Shavasana. A moment to collect ourselves and 
reap all the benefits of our practice. Just keep the eyes closed. <laughs> 